Adult children who fail to thrive. Adult children who fail to thrive. Is it the parents' fault? <laughs> Adult children who fail to thrive, is it the parents' fault? Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics, as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe. All channel names are pinned to the top of the comment section or description box below. So, is it the parents' th th fault when an adult child fails to thrive? Now, what we're talking about thriving is every situation is different. Uh, what thriving is for one child, adult child, may be different for another child. Everyone has their capabilities and everyone has their limitations. And yet, often what I see in parents is they'll use those limitations as an excuse for failure to thrive. Remember, thriving is an individual thing. And so for one person, thriving can be one thing. And for another adult child, thriving can be very much another. And so is it the parent's fault? Well, it, often everyone likes to blame the parents, right? That's always an easy thing. Just blame the parents if you want to blame someone, right? And I don't think that that's the truth in most situations. I think most parents are so well intended. I think most parents want their children, their adult children, um, to excel and to exceed in life. So what I see with failure to thrive is it's an individual thing. And like I said, every adult child is different and unique and has different limitations and different capabilities. Are they reaching into their capabilities and being all that they can be and within their limitations? And often parents will, um, you know, say, well, they have limitations. Well, that's fine. I think we all have limitations, but are they reaching their personal maximum potential or are we excusing them from reaching their maximum potential? You know, a lot of parents uh, make excuses for their adult kids. Well, you know, they had a rough time or this happened or maybe I didn't give them enough growing up or maybe I needed to spend more time with them. You know, I've seen kids, adult kids that came out of less than ideal situations who thrived in life and who had nothing to start off with and yet became very successful. And I've seen other adult people that had every opportunity possible handed to them on a silver platter, so to speak, and did nothing with those opportunities but throw them in the garbage. And so I think there needs to be a value and appreciation. And smart people learn the easy way. That's through a mentor or through just observation and saying, hey, I want to go in the right direction. But someone who's maybe not as um, up on the smart choices, that's a nicer way to put it, um, likely has to learn the harder way. That means when they come up against reality, um, that they have to pay their own rent, that they have to live on their own, or if they are living at home, that they contribute in within their capabilities. And a lot of parents let adult kids well, well, well into their 20s or even 30s or even beyond um, live at home, free wrench, um, free food, free utilities, and yet they have jobs and they, they're bringing in money, but they're spending it all on video game or eating out or whatever, and they're not contributing or maybe they don't help out at all. You know, the mom's doing the laundry for her 42-year-old kid. Okay, um, like I said, if there's limitations there, I got those and I respect limitations. Um, like I said, one adult child may have a different limitation than another adult child. And so I look at the limitations and I respect those limitations and I work 
uh, around those limitations for them to thrive to the best of their capability. Not necessarily what I think that they should be doing, but within their range of capability. And so that's my personal opinion about failure to thrive. I don't blame the parent, but I do think that often the parent can set the environment up so that um, kids fail to be all that they can be. They fail to make the most of their opportunities. A lot of times they will throw their opportunities in the garbage. And so for me, if I were to see that in my own personal life, I would pull back from the opportunities that they're throwing in the trash, at least to the point where they truly, truly respected and were grateful for those opportunities. Um, for me personally, if, if uh, I, you know, felt that an adult child was living at home and was not contributing within their capabilities and within their limitations, um, and they're not contributing, I would probably suggest that they contribute or perhaps find another place. And often that's all that it takes to get them back on the road. People do what works and they tend to stop doing what doesn't work. And so if they realize that they need to be responsible um, adults, um, often they'll step up to the plate. But if they feel that they don't have to be responsible, they can be lazy and play on video games all day and social media all day, not have a job or whatever, and they're capable of a job, well, that probably wouldn't work with grandma. Okay, well, from my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe. And I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.